the Joe Rogan experience. Did I ever tell you my Mitch Hedberg story? Which one? I did acid with him. Whoa. When I was 26. That's a great story. Yeah, man. So me and Mitch uh, met at the Chicago Comedy Festival. And um, we clicked, right? And we walk around. I was living in Chicago at the time. And uh, we walked around. He was like, yo, oh, I'm about to be rich, man. (laughs) <laughs> he, he had just signed this deal or whatever in Montreal. I couldn't get Montreal to like look at me, but I, I, he had just crushed in Montreal. And he goes, uh, "I'm about to be rich, man." He pulls out this Velcro wallet. It was, and he goes, "You see this ring? When I lived in Seattle. I used to pawn this ring so I could eat, and then I would go eat and get a gig, and then buy it back. I won't have to do that no more." So he just signed some big deal. Wow. So he needed a shirt for his HBO half hour special, the one where he's sitting on the steps. Mm-hmm. And so I, I I helped him pick out that shirt. And then I had a gig in Minnesota. I, like after the festival, he goes, can I ride with you? So we road tripped to Minnesota because he was from St. Paul. I spent a night in his in his home. And that's when he, I learned he was like a chef and all that stuff. And So we really clicked and we were bumping to each other on the road. We were in Houston. And uh, he goes, when I decided I wanted to do comedy, I hit acid. I, you know, I took a hit of acid. I got my notebook and everything I saw, I wrote. And I was like, oh, it'd be funny like that. <laughs> so I did acid with him. And um, and we were both in this hotel room. Like, it, and the, the woman, it was a woman who was the dealer. And um, she came over and, you know, we're in the hotel room. And that's when I learned where cartoons come from. Like, everything I saw was like a fucking cartoon. And I was tripping, man. And he videotaped me tripping and i'm going why is a a why is b b why is the letter green green who said green? who said the letter and i was doing it he's videotaping me and he literally goes i, I clearly remember him going you should do this on stage <laughs> Goes back, take me some more and i go stage 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 like i'm like scatting man right going and i'm seeing all this thing and then like um i started uh I was on this whole thing, like, all I kept thinking about was pussy, right? And I saw, and I was dating this girl. And this is back when you use a calling card. And I only oh, knew two numbers by yeah. heart, my mom's number and hers. And I was like, I pray that I'm calling the girl. As <laughs> <laughs> so I was talking to her on the phone, and I was on the bed, and I was like, I want your pussy. Like, all that shit. She said, are you high? You know, just fucking up the whole thing. And I go, yeah. Don't don't do anything. Don't jump. And I was like, why are you putting that shit in my head? Like, cause whatever don't jump. whatever she saw, <laughs> I could see. Like, I could physically see it. And then I look over in the bed uh, next to me, and Mitch is like fucking the girl that bought the, uh, the thing. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm in the orgy, but not really. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the phone. He's actually doing it. Oh, so I'm virtual reality. <clears throat> and then like my body started shaking, and the whole shit like left my my body and so that's how like you know that was my my experience i never did it again never desired to do it again but i i I did it with mitch and it was like it was like this crazy thing (laughs) 